All right, Algebra 1 students, let's look at Unit 2, Lesson 4, Equations and Their Solutions. All right, let's write down the goals. Please follow along. I can explain what it means for a value or pair of values to be a solution to an equation. So we're going to be looking at the equations and finding their answers or their solutions. And we need to know what that means when we find those solutions. I can find solutions to equations by reasoning about a situation or by using algebra. So we're going to look at just using our common sense and our basic thinking to get these and by using some backwards thinking of math to get these solutions. We still have our same two main vocabulary words. We have constraint, which remember is just a limit on the types of numbers we're using, whether that be all positive, whether it be all negative, whether it be a mix of the two, whether you can use decimals, fractions, or not. So it can change. Model. A model is just a representation of the pattern that we're looking at, whether it be a mathematical equation or a graph or a table. Any of those can be models to help us understand. All right, for your warm up, I have a problem that I want you to do and then three questions to answer, or three things to do with it. So a granola bite contains 27 calories. Most of the calories come from C grams of carbohydrates. We're using C to represent an unknown here. The rest come from other ingredients. One gram of carbohydrate contains four calories. So if you notice, we have the equation 4C plus 5 equals 27. So what you need to do is understand where the 4 comes from, where the C comes from, where the 5 and the 27 come from. So this is representing this situation above. So my first question is, what could the 5 represent in this situation? So you need to try and figure out, based off the information you have, what does the 5 represent? Priya said that neither 8 nor 3 could be the solution to the equation. So if you plug 8 in for C, it won't work. If you plug 3 in for C, it won't work. Explain why that is correct. Why won't they work? Why doesn't it work for us? And then lastly, find the actual solution to the problem. Try and figure out what that number should be that would make C true. So what number would we put in for C? to make this all true. Once you've done those things, or once you've done that, please exp or yeah, so once you've done those three things, please bring those to school tomorrow and then that's going to start our discussion. Thanks.